So this is the setup I've got that I'm going to use to attempt to put the crank assembly black it back into the block. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. So I've just got a very cheap, basic hand winch thingy and a selection of screwdrivers ready. So I've lined this up in correct firing order just because well I had to start somewhere so I thought as well might as well so piston one at top dead center and it looks like the firing order is one six four five three two I think or it might be one six four Yeah, no, I think it's 164, not 146. So I'll set the camera up and I'll try lowering it down. I'll just show you, I've got all the piston rings in the right places. So they've got little, sorry about my dodgy camera work. Don't know if it was focused because it's swinging. Let's try and hold it. But in there, there's little locator pins so two for the top and bottom at the same place and one round there probably just see it so I've got all the piston rings in place it's all got new piston rings on the other pistons now sorry it doesn't like focusing because it's moving about there you go I'll just walk back a bit to show you my setup. So I'm just going to try and lower that down, piston one first, then six, then four, then either three or five, whichever sort of makes contact first, I guess. And I'll see if I can squeeze it up in. I've just lubed it all up with some two stroke oil. Don't really know what I'm supposed to use on this. I know. On a, on a car wrench you'd use like the STP thick oil but because this is the fuel lubricate so I, I don't think that was right so I just put on loads of um, that two stroke stuff so I'll set the camera up and uh, we'll see if this goes together or not
crankshaft and piston assembly all gone in now. So you just have to put the screwdriver in these gaps here and squeeze in the piston rings. I did break two piston rings doing this. Luckily I had three spare. So it, it would be much easier with the uh, proper mercury piston ring compressors. But we've got it all back together. So I've now just got to clean up this mating surface and then put the other end cap on and I don't know where I put that but I've got a new one because you remember the old one was broke and uh, I put a new bearing in it as well so I'll clean this up then we'll put the crankcase cover on this machine surface I am going to put a bit of RTB silicon on there just to make sure it seals all back together now I gave it a bit of a clean up with carb cleaner just so I can paint it next then I'll put it back in the engine but I want to paint it out a bit first So it's just a case of doing up all these nuts and bolts. Got those two which were attached to the starter motor, which need nuts. So there it is. One rebuilt block. Still got to do the fuel pumps, but for now I think that's done. So. Thank you very much everybody for watching, um, please subscribe to the channel, we're going to be doing a hydroplane build coming up very soon, um, a bit like this one here, but a bit smaller, so uh, please subscribe to the channel and um, yeah, you get to see what we're making, should be pretty cool, alright, thanks very much, see you later guys.